Hi folks. Well, it's autumn. It's getting dark earlier and earlier. Uh, I'm a cyclist, as you can see, and sometimes that means I'm out on the bike in the dark. As you can also see, I don't currently have a rear light. So I needed to buy one of those, but it occurred to me, why not use our old friend, the BBC Microbit microcontroller as a replacement for a rear bicycle light. So I created a little script today in Python that I'm going to show you. I have the little battery pack attached so I can get power. Let's press the reset button and there you go. All of our LEDs are flashing just like you would see on a bicycle rear light. Now I've programmed this so that the A button performs three functions. It starts off flashing. If I press it again it comes on fully and if I press it again it switches off. Now it's not fully off because power is still running to the micro bit. To turn it fully off you would uh, pull out the pin here. The B button controls the speed of the blinking. If I press it again it's currently at 100 milliseconds uh, per flash and there it's going at 50 milliseconds per flash. Now it'll cycle around. If I press it again it'll go loop back around to 250 milliseconds 200, 150, 100, and that's the way it was at the very beginning. So you have five or six different options there. I gotta figure out a way now to attach this to the bike. Um, I have a few odds and ends here that might help me. I've got these uh, sticky backed Velcro style things that I might use. Um, I have some cable ties. What else? Little sticky pads here that allow me to, they're adhesive on one side and they've got a little loop on the other that allows me to feed the cable ties into. Um, I've got these things here which are basically, it's a velcro strap of some kind. Yep, that might be useful in attaching the battery compartment in some way. Okay, there it is in all its glory. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit here. There you can see the micro bit and I've just velcroed the battery pack on behind it. The only thing I uh, can't really be sure about is the brightness. Uh, if I'm perfectly honest, I think it's about half the brightness of what a real bicycle rear light is. Um, so I'm not really <laughs> vouching for the safety aspect of this if you try this for yourself. Let's just turn the lights out here and uh, see what this looks like. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Difficult to tell. Yeah. So, given the fact that there is some concern over the brightness, it occurred to me to try my little NeoPixel array that you may have seen featured in a previous video. This little thing. On the back of it you have to solder in three things. One of them, which I've done in red, is for the power. The black one is for ground and the white one is to carry data. These are really just three crocodile leads that I trimmed off on one side and soldered. So I did a modified version of the program that would work with NeoPixels and I've got it on this second micro bit. So let's attach this, always being careful to attach the ground pin first to avoid power surges. I haven't got the battery pack in yet either. And then the zero pin to carry the data across to the pixel. I don't know if you can tell in this light, but it's considerably brighter than the LEDs on the micro bit. The Neo pixels can be programmed from a brightness of zero to 255. 
you're looking at brightness 100 so it can go considerably higher than this even you know it can really sear the eyes out of you i think but uh, i decided not to go quite that bright i thought that was sufficient for a bicycle light and again all the same things apply off on also if i hold down b and press a watch this i have a white light instead of red because neopixels uh you know they're capable of displaying any color so why not make it that it can double as a front light for a bicycle if you wanted to so i programmed this in python as i said i'm going to show you the code on the screen it uses uh two main variables uh one variable which is called status can be set from zero or one or two. Zero means off, one means flashing, and two means fully on. The other variable is uh, blink rate, and that controls how many milliseconds the blinking occurs for. It's a fairly straightforward script. And here is the NeoPixel version, should you wish to employ NeoPixels in yours. Um, bear in mind, uh, this is a seven, NeoPixel array. If yours is 8, you would need to modify the code for that. Or if yours is another number, you just modify the code accordingly. Now I know a lot of people are still very attached to Microsoft Block Editor. So here is a Block Editor script that will allow you to get this to work also. Lastly folks, I'd just like to make you aware of Micro Games, which is a book I wrote for the BBC Microbit containing 10 game making projects that teaches you how to use Python. Um, it's coming out soon. There's a Facebook page set up for it, which I hope you'll check out.